What's going on guys, Mickle here, and today I wanted to give you guys an XRP price chart update. It's been over 180 days since XRP made a new all-time high, but I think we're on the verge of doing something amazing. XRP has been consolidating for a couple months now, and is coming into the end of its range where I think there's going to be a massive break to the upside. I have a feeling this could coincide with some great news in the Ripple SEC court case, you guys are going to want to stick around for this update because I'm going to break down exactly what I've seen playing out and what I expect to play out in the weeks to come. So let's jump right into this video. So guys, before we jump into this video, I really have to say thank you so much. We hit a thousand subscribers last night. It's truly an amazing milestone and I really never expected to get here so fast. It makes me really excited to keep producing content. So guys, make sure you keep liking the videos, subscribing to the channel, commenting what you think. It really helps me out so much and makes me so much more motivated to come here after work and make videos for you guys knowing that you really enjoy them so much. So let's jump right into this price chart and get into why I think XRP is on the verge of moving and all this weight will be so worth it. So if you guys haven't seen this chart before, pause the video right now, take a look at what I've been watching and see if you can kind of figure out what you're looking at for yourself. I think it's fairly obvious and I really try to keep it simple, number things, and just make it so anyone looking at the chart can kind of, after some analysis, kind of figure out the different zones. Ultimately, we're just saying that this pattern right here from one to five is very similar to this pattern one to five. And if things continue to be similar, we would expect a breakout out of this pattern very soon. It's as simple as that. Nothing's gonna be exactly the same. Nothing's gonna be perfect, but there's very clear similarities. Essentially, all these are, are symmetrical triangles where the highs get lower and the lows get higher until the price ends up in a dead zone where it has to make the choice. It has to break up to the upside or break down to the downside. In a bullish market, we break up to the upside, and I think XRP is about to be an extremely bullish market. I think the SEC Ripple case is going to be wrapping up very soon. Impossible to tell the date, but I think that could be the catalyst for the break to the upside. Almost every single high cap crypto has already passed its all-time highs. It doesn't make any sense for XRP not to get there, being that it is one of the most advanced, one of the most uh, adopted, and overall one of the most useful cryptos in the entire crypto market. XRP has a ton of utility as well as the fact that it could even be used as a store of value. Overall, I expect XRP to be breaking out to the upside for all the reasons I just mentioned. So if we take a look at these charts and I've done videos on the past explaining these touches, why it bounces around to this triangle, but I wanna update you guys on some of the new things I've added to this chart because I think it'll help us pinpoint exactly when I think it's gonna be breaking out. So the first thing you can see is we have these red zones at the end of the triangle. Something significant about this last pattern that played out here is we didn't actually um, finish the triangle. We actually broke out a little bit before the triangle was finished. I expect the same thing to happen over here for nothing other than the reason that everything so far in this pattern has been extremely similar to this pattern. Therefore, I believe that the patterns will continue to be similar and we would ex expect that this pattern would also not finish the entire triangle. It very well could, but so far almost everything has been the same, so why wouldn't they at least continue to be similar? So this green region right here is the region where I expect the price chart to be breaking out, and I wanna get into exactly why I think this region is the prime spot for the breakout to occur. So if we measure this past pattern right here, we get a time frame of about 169 bars. If we come over here and measure this pattern, we get a time frame of 240 bars. This means that this cycle right here, uh, thus far, has is only been 70% of this cycle right here. So if we measure this dead zone right here, we get 30 bars, and if we were to also assume that this dead zone would only be 70% of this dead zone right here, and this played out exactly perfectly so that um, the cycles uh, really perfectly represented the exact percentages uh, which it probably won't, but it just gives us an idea, we would assume that this dead zone would come out to October 17th, making it 45 bars, which is essentially would make this dead zone 70% of this dead zone. 
Now, this is just where I believe the start of the uh, breakout range could occur. The next thing I want to show you guys is this dead zone that I marked in absolute red. This, this zone right here represents the same uh, time frame that we saw in the last cycle. So 31 bars versus 31 bars. I really wouldn't expect this dead zone to be smaller, uh, I mean to be shorter than this one just because everything in this cycle has everything in this uh, pattern right here we've been watching has been longer than this cycle so I would expect that the dead zone would also be longer but like I said nothing is perfect on these price charts so we really have to uh, be prepared for anything now the main reason why I think that um, really the breakout will happen in between these two ranges and not necessarily one or the other is a couple reasons one this black line that I marked on October 22nd this is the date the uh, SEC is forced to hand over documents to the judge pertaining to uh, their uncertainty on whether XRP was a security or not. This is a massive issue for the SEC because it could force the judge to rule uh, in defense of Ripple on their fair notice defense and could prevent the SEC from winning any crypto oriented lawsuits in the future. In my opinion, and I'm not a legal expert, I don't think the, the SEC takes this risk. I think they would rather settle with Ripple, claim a victory, really they lost, but whatever, and then move on to the next one where they can actually win. You know, maybe pursue a company that's actually doing illegal things and not a company that's trying to make the world better. But <laughs> that's for another topic. So anyway, this date is massively significant. The SEC can't lose the fair notice defense. It's going to ruin all their arguments for the future of crypto. And I think uh, they kind of know that as soon as they hand these documents over to the judge, uh, the rest of their arguments are kind of mute. I think they're trying to get Ripple's audio recordings as kind of one last go to try to prove that... Uh, what Ripple said made it a security, but the uh, judge pretty much already made it clear that that doesn't matter. It's about what the SEC thought. So I think this is a very significant date, and it plays right in the middle of the uh, green region that we already expected the price chart to break out of based on the technicals. The other thing I want to point out is that if we break into right here, October 31st, this is about two weeks before uh, Ripple swell is occurring. In my opinion, Ripple probably wants to hold swell at a point where they are not getting sued by the SEC. So I would expect them to get clarity and then have some massive announcements to announce at swell. Swell is occurring the weekend of November 10th, and that is right after this region right here. Overall, it really makes perfect sense to me is if the price continues to grind on right here and then breaks out about right here. This would make it look extremely similar to the last cycle and we're really at the very end of this when the chart has to make a decision and we have to watch what happens. I probably won't do any more updates on this chart until we break this trend line. I think once we break this trend line and to really first make contact with this upper bar like we did back here, I think that's when it's game over. I think that's when we can expect to see the breakout and when we're really going to understand when this thing is going to take place. I want you guys to understand that we really don't have a lot of room to go. Volatility has been low, but from where we are right now, we only need a 10% gain before we make contact with this top range. As soon as this occurs, I think we're breaking out. I think it would be insane if this co if this coincided with the lawsuit ending, and that might make me a believer of the whole thing. Don't tell me the news, show me the chart, or show me the chart and I'll tell you the news. We have to see what happens. In my opinion, I haven't seen too many other people calling out this chart. I see a lot of people drawing fibs everywhere, saying we're going to go here, we're going here, we're maxing out at $10. I don't know about that. This is what I'm watching. This, to me, makes sense. If you guys also enjoy it, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you, thank you so much for 1K. Once again, never thought I'd get here this far, this fast. If you guys enjoy this video, just keep liking them. Go watch some of my other content. It really means so much. If you guys are still here, thank you. And for now, Mikkel out.